Rex got the bid. So we're quarantining right now, aren't we, honey? Like, just waking up every 20 minutes. I don't get how it works. We're pretty down in the dumps. Go through this process with us. Thank you, Lord, for negative okay. Hush. What is it? Wait. Actual? Posse. <laughs> That's two bars. Mm. <laughs> we just found a little campsite. So we're quarantining right now, aren't we, honey? This is what happens when you forget a lighter. Yeah. Oh, babe. Babe. Because I don't want to blow up your hand. It's fine. Just doing isolation in our van. Took a test this morning and Bex, Bex got the bid, but I haven't. Pretty interesting how it all works, you know? I haven't been sleeping very well. I've had like hot, cold, waking up and pool of sweat, like just waking up every 20 minutes. So then to um, last night was the first night, like I pretty much slept all the way through and I didn't even set, set an alarm and I think I woke up about 9.30. So that was pretty good. Yeah, right, yeah. Mm. Hope you get better. Thanks. Love you, Dad. Bye, Reno. Bye. See you, James. Bye. Mm. Bye. Honey, day four in isolation. How do you feel? I feel the best I've felt since the start of the week. Probably about a six out of ten. Okay. <coughs> Thanks for coughing on me. No worries. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> I still don't have it, which is brilliant. We were on a cruise ship together in a cabin in a camper van. I just don't get how this thing works. I don't get how it works, but we've been praying against it so that I don't get it. So, you know. Look. I've just saved no love or affection. Oh, don't act like <laughs> we have affection anyway. What day is it? Day five of having the vid how do you feel yeah what day was the worst day three two and three what kind of symptoms do we need to be looking out for <laughs> body aches sore throat cold sweats at night runny nose it's been a bit of a mental game as well hasn't it the old vid mm. when you know that you got it mm. it's just really bad timing because we got to granddad's and then and then gave granddad the vid so we feel pretty bad about that mm. but it's it's frustrating because you don't know if you've got it you know we tested negative leaving the ship went to the house all is fine and then boom tested positive and it's just like i don't know you just don't know it just comes out of nowhere and i still don't have it it's day five for her but then granddad gets it you know and it's just like what is this thing but we're getting on our on our cruise ship in three three days. three days, so Beck will have fully recovered by then, which is good, but it's it's tight, it's a tight window. Mm -hmm. But we got our cruise um started a bit later, didn't it? All of a sudden, just randomly. And when we heard that we were like, Oh, that's annoying, like we wish we had three more days on board, but now we see that it's all a part of God's plan. Mm -hmm. And then actually that got pushed back for a reason without us even knowing. So you just gotta trust, you know? Just go with it even when something looks bad, hey? I'm gonna pour myself a glass of Jameson and Coke. Every now and then when we feel really pressured and overloaded with anxiety, we sit down and we, we discuss what are five things that's frustrating you this, this happy season. So for example, Rebecca, what's one of those things that's frustrating you right no, now? No, you go first. I'll go first. <laughs> Um, probably one of them is that my wife wife has the vid. That's been pretty difficult for me, especially. <laughs> Number two, I can't find 
where to camp tomorrow evening. Number three, we have to test negative before we go, that's a given. Number four, we've given COVID to Grandad. Five, we're broke. <laughs> so those are my sort of, they're just surface area little things. Um, Rebecca, what are your five? One, um, still not feeling great. She's not feeling that great. Energy's really low. I miss exercising. Three, I lost a toenail this morning. What? <laughs> huh? What do you mean? It just fell off. What are you talking about? <laughs> One of my toenails fell show off. Show me. <laughs> it's No, show me it now, hon. <laughs> you can't just say <laughs> that. <laughs> what do you mean when your toenails fell off? It just fell what off. What did you do, wake up and you went, Oop, oopsie daisy, <laughs> yeah. there it goes again. It just what? fell off. Your whole nails. Your whole. <laughs> you're saying that the whole. <laughs> could, you, could I be Channing no. Tatum in the Lost City and clip here? No. And no. then I'm going to insert that that clip. So now that we've we're pretty <laughs> we're pretty down in the dumps, right? We're at that level, and you might be too. So go through this process with us. Name five things, and after I say that, just pause the video so you can really think about it. Okay, you're back. Now what's interesting is that some of these things that we've listed, we might not be able to control physically ourselves. Can we look at yourself? We might not be able to control them. And that's okay because sometimes when you just speak out things that you can't control, it then allows you to let it have freedom. Okay, you can't hold on to that and, Can you take and find a out. seat on the chair? I, there's no room in this place. And we're supposed to be 1.5. We're supposed to be 1.5. So get away from me. Get away from me. Now, so what, what can I... I can't control that Grandad has COVID. I can't control that Rebecca has COVID. Maybe I can control that I'm broke. But we'll cycle back around to that one. Um, it's a little boring now. All right. Sorry. Cut that. <laughs> Thanks for coming back. Just identify the things that you can't control and just let them out into, into the ocean, into the air, okay? And just you letting that out is going to heal and resolve that, all right? Was there anything that you listed earlier that you, you physically have control over? No. And actually, that is a brilliant answer. Do you want to know why? Because this is easy, this session. is because it's all based on trust from here on out now. Rebecca just has to trust God that those things that she can't control are going to be resolved. But you know what, sometimes it's not even about finding the solution. It's just about voicing your hurts, voicing your pressures and your anxieties. I feel better already. Do you feel better? I know you do. I need to pray to feel better. She needs to pray to feel better. So sometimes you can take those crazy pressures and say, God, I, I need to give these to you. And after you do that, man, you will feel a weight off your shoulders. But until you identify them, you can't give them away. Isn't that right, honey? So after you've done the session, high five your friend. And then we're all good. Show me your nail, please. So I, I take it, there's just two of you? Yes. Yeah. Test. Okay, so we've got James and Rebecca, is that right? Yeah. The last one, it was five of them, and it was um, <laughs> just incredibly hard work. But that's all good, that's all good. It's a Saturday afternoon. Have you got your test boxes to hand? I'm just going to sit here and stare at them for the next 15 minutes. Thank you, Lord, for negative mm -hmm. tests. Thank you, Lord, for negative tests. Do, 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 do. One bar at this stage. Just keeping you posted. Well, looks good. Good to go. Biltong's pretty good in the UK. You alright? We just arrived at a campsite on our way to Heathrow Airport. We got um got a flight tomorrow, so we thought we'd drive most of the way, you know. Rebecca's cooking in our oven for the first time in three years. She hasn't cleaned it, but Two years. Huh? Now we have. Honey cooking up storms. Absolute storms. Cool. Got our return, flight details and everything, hey. It's okay. 
Okay. Hey, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Hush.